Hello battery lovers, today I've got two batteries of 26650 size, the Queen battery QB26650 rated at 5000 million powers and the MNKE IMR26650 rated at 3500 million powers. In fact, the MNKE is a very strange battery because I wasn't able to find any official datasheet online and the manufacturer's site is down so I had to use the specifications provided by the supplier. Let's take a look at the positive contacts of these batteries. You can see the positive pole of MNKE is a bit larger which is very good I think because it's easier to weld or solder. So let's move on. I've done the measurements using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge currents up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building the curves. I've also upgraded my battery holder for better accuracy. I've replaced the steel pads with copper ones. They are made from pure copper, you can see them. And the battery in this holder looks like this. That's it. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. Let's start with the QB26650. Nominal capacity 5000 million powers. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.75 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current 20 amps. Standard charge current 2.5 amps. Maximum charge current 5 amps. Charge and voltage 4.20 volts. So let's take a look at the results of the test. At 0.2C or 1 amp, Queen battery gave out 50 82 million powers or 18.44 watt-hours. At 5 amp discharge rate it gave out 49-41 million powers or 16.86 watt-hours. At 10 amp 48-53 million powers or 15.57 watt-hours. At 20 amp discharge rate it gave out 38-82 million powers or 11.51 watt-hours. Take a look at the curves. At 20 amps there is a big voltage seg, so I wouldn't recommend it for using a 20 amp discharge rate. But at 10 amp uh, the result is quite good. So this is a good battery for using at 10 amps but not 20 amps. As I've already told, the MNKE battery doesn't have any official uh, datasheet and I've used specifications provided by the supplier. The capacity is 4500 million powers. Discharge cutoff voltage is unknown and I've discharged it uh, down to 2.75 volts uh, because it's uh, safer than 2.5 volts. Maximum continuous discharge current is 30 amps. Standard charge current as well as maximum charge current are unknown. Charge and voltage is uh, 4.20 volts. 
I've used uh, standard charging current uh, 1.75 uh, amps uh, because uh, it's 0.5 C and it seems uh, safer to me. So let's take a look at the results of the test. At 0.2 C or 0.7 amps, the MNK E battery gave out 46.97 mAh or 14.85 Watt hours. At 5 amp, it gave out 4500 mAh and uh, 12.62 Watt hours. At 10 amp discharge rate, uh, it gave out 4509 mAh or 12.07 Watt hours. At 20 amp, 4472 mAh or 11.18 Watt Let's take a look at the curves. There is no voltage seg even at 20 amps, and uh, at 20 amps it gave almost 4500 mAh, uh, which is a very good result, and it has no problem with high current discharging. Let's try to compare these very different batteries at 5, 10 and 20 amps discharge rate. As we can see the curve of Queen battery is always lower than the MNK is one. And at 20 amps it almost immediately goes to uh, 3.40 volts, which is uh, not a good result. On the other hand it has higher capacity and even at 20 amps its capacity is higher than that of uh, the MNKE battery. Each of these batteries has its advantages and disadvantages. The Queen battery has higher capacity, but it doesn't perform well at 20 amps. Its maximum recommended current uh, by me is 10 amps. MNKE battery performs very well at 20 amps and I think it will perform as well at 40 amps but its capacity is limited to 4500 milliamp hours which is very low for today. So that's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and bye bye.